Jennifer hasn't been told any details of today's scam. She's just been sent to a restaurant where a table has been booked in her name. Hi, uh, I have a reservation. It's not long before she's joined by a hustler. Hi, girl. Hello. I'm Paul. Paul. Hi, Jen. Nice to meet okay, you. Okay, you too. How are you feeling? I'm good, good. Nervous? A little tired. Yeah, yeah. You feel lucky? Not really, no. Okay, it's funny because <laughs> it uh, has been the luckiest day of your life. Okay. You've won a massive amount of money. Okay. Unfortunately, you need someone to help you collect it. Okay. This is a version of one of the oldest scams in the book. Mm -hmm. It's usually played today with emails, maybe with a scam mail that comes through the door. But we're going to do old school style, person to person. What do you think? I'm up for it. All right, we're going to find out. Jennifer will need all that enthusiasm and more as she goes undercover in The Syndicate. A smart city hotel is the scene of crime today. These young ladies enter the foyer, minding their own business. One of them has just become the mark. There's a business conference happening in the hotel, and here come a couple of delegates. It's Jess and Jennifer, moving in for the hit. The first stage of the scam is going to draw a bit of attention, because these smartly dressed business ladies are about to have a right old Barney. You've Cost us not hundreds but thousands. You know that, don't you? I thought we were doing the right thing, not by writing my Stop crying, goodness sake. I thought we'd do the right thing. It sounds like Jennifer has done something very stupid, which has cost Jess a lot of money. Do you know what really, really f is that the people in there, they're not even giving you a hard time about it because they know that you're just going to stop crying. I don't simple. care if you cry or not, though, because you need to be told what you've done is wrong. Well, they understand it's a simple mistake. It's not a simple mistake. Stop crying. The Mark hasn't recognised Jennifer. So far, so good. But she's certainly noticed the noisy squabbling. It wasn't actually your ticket, so why would you even put your name Because they give it to me and I saw they said, write your name on it, so I just wrote it. The scene is also drawing attention from the hotel staff. Hi there, ladies. Is Justin OK? Yeah, yeah, we're fine. In fact, it's new hustler, Polly. Hi there, you OK? She's here to strike up a conversation with the Mark. I'm the customer relations manager here. Um, so if you've got any problems or you want any help with anything, don't hesitate to um, call me. I'll get, sorry, what was your name? Gemma. Gemma? Kramer. Kramer. I'll just get my card for you, OK? Yeah. The fake customer service manager heads off, with the argument still raging behind her. Seriously, it's like, but I wouldn't mount with you all the time. I'm the only one who actually knows what you like. After why have you even given it to her to look after in the first place? Time for Alex to join the girls. He's also playing a convention goer. Do you know what? Don't even come and speak to me for the rest of the day, actually. Hey, hey, hey. I can't believe she's a bit like that about I'm so sorry. Listen, she'll be fine. She'll just calm down. She's just all a bit excited. Isn't it? Everyone's being so understanding, but you, could, you don't get it. I think my intention, though. I know. It's making me feel proper anxious at me, and she's embarrassed me, man, in front of everyone. She's just being stupid, because that you were trying to help. As Alex tries to console Jennifer, Polly returns. So you can't, yeah. Hey there, is everything OK here? Yes, thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank you. Miss Kramer, here's your card. Do so you want anything? And I'll sort it out for you, OK? Hi, Enjoy your day. That lady's name Enjoy is... your day. Great, thank you. That lady's name is Kramer. S excuse me, sorry, did I hear right? Is your name Kramer? Yeah. What's your first name? Alex has overheard the Mark's name and suddenly has a light bulb moment. Look, if her name is Kramer, you're Gabby Kramer. So, so if, you're, if you've got somebody with the same initial and somebody with the same name... That'd be amazing. Sorry, excuse me. I know this sounds a bit outlandish. Well, we need somebody who's got the same name and initial as her, with G Kramer. Do you spell your name that way as well? Yeah? yeah. I, I just wanted to ask you. They, basically, what's happened is they, they, do, um, they do... We all work in the restaurant trade, but their restaurant have got a little lottery syndicate all together, and um, they buy a ticket every week. You know, she, she looks after it and she wrote her name on it, because I, I think the lottery say that you, you should write your name on the back of it, because if it's winning, then nobody else can take it off you. 
they were going to go and cash it. But then they re realised that Gabby was out of the country when the ticket was bought. So she's not allowed to cash it. I didn't know that. I just found out. So here's the story. They're in a work lottery syndicate and have won a lot of money. But Gabby Kramer here has only gone and written her name on the back of the ticket. But she was abroad at the time, and you have to be in the country when the purchase takes place. So now she can't claim the winnings. Well, the tickets won, just won quite a lot of money. That's why the girl was giving her. Because basically they found out, that the other five people, they found out that they've won tens of thousands and they can't cash it. By a miraculous coincidence, the mark has exactly the same family name and initial. Of course, this is no coincidence at all. Hi there, you OK? Yes. Customer service manager Polly only introduced herself to the mark in order to find out her name. Sorry, what was your name? Gemma. Gemma. Kramer. Kramer, oh, lovely to meet you. Behind the scenes, she then printed out a badge with the same name and initial. When she returned to the foyer, she slipped the badge to Jennifer. Is everything OK here? Yes, thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank you. Whilst Polly handed over her business card, the badge came out, turning Jennifer into Gabby Kramer. Alex wants to persuade the mark to collect the winnings using her name, G. Kramer. What I was going to ask you is, apparently all you need to do is go to the um, to news agents, you give the ticket, and they give you a certificate that you've won, and then they send you the check. If you could basically get the ticket, go to the news agent and get the certificate, that's all we need. I'm sure they'll, you'll give, I mean, thousands of pounds. Her boss, he owns a restaurant in Mayfair, and he's part of the syndicate. I'm sure he will take care of you. I mean, like, if they pay you 500 quid or something. See, without someone like you, they'd get nothing. Would you be able to do that? I'd be so, so happy. 500 quid for doing almost nothing? Who could resist? I'll tell you what, I'll give you... Have you got a pen? Have you got a paper? I'll give you this address and come to the restaurant. The Mark agrees to meet Alex and the rest of the syndicate at their restaurant later this afternoon. We'll be there, so we'll see you later. So, OK, I'll give you a call if anything changes. But she's going to find out that Lady Luck isn't on her side today. It's not that I don't trust you, I just don't know you. I'm sorry, I, I, I really am.